Let's come forward over here. Good. Now, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go on and get on the scapula. We've got 17 muscles that attach to the scapula. And there's a two to one ratio between the scapula and the arm of the humerus here. And the scapulothoracic rhythm should be a two to one ratio. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to get behind here, bring this up, and over, and I'm going to use my hand. I'm really pushing here. You feel that? I do. Quite a bit? Yeah. And back. Okay. So let's just get on the medial border of the scapula, take it up here, and up. Doing okay there? Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, it's kind of interesting. If we look at posterior here, we'll see that the rhomboids actually connect into the inf fascially into the medial border of the scapula, but also into the infraspinatus. So when we're in this position, we probably want to try and open this up a little bit here. I want to get you to go like this, like you're doing a pec deck exercise. Now grab your elbow, pull it in like a stretch, like that. Come back here. Now what I'm going to do here, is I'm actually going to get, and take my elbow here. Okay, take this across here now. And open it up. Now grab the elbow, pull it in. Feel that on end range? Yes. Quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And back. So I can either go towards the spine or I can go towards the border of the scapula. But I need this hand here for stabilizing the shoulder. Take it in again. There we go. That's good. That one you feel a little bit more of, don't you? Yes, that's good. Good. And back. And again. Good. Excellent. So when we're actually bringing the arm up and over in a circular area like this, I work my way down the entire medial border of the scapula, all the way down to the inferior angle, taking it over, and then as I bring the arm up here, I would pull back just slightly on there. That's a good one. Okay, now let's get on to that AC joint. Come over the edge here. Okay, so if we fall over to the clavicle here, the chromium on the edge, let your arm down. I want you to just raise the shoulder, just the shoulder itself, and down. Okay, do you feel a real tender spot right there? Yes. <laughs> okay, take it up here. So with this joint, we were just trying to get a little bit of shear stress in the joint between the clavicle and the acromium here. So bring it up just slightly, not much. Take it down. Okay, and I'll put my thumb on top of here and this cross here, you okay? Mm -hmm. And down. That's tender when I do that though, isn't it? As I push. Yes. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going down. I'm just mm -hmm. going to push down here so you can see it a little bit better. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to just take the arm here up a little bit. Okay. And then just bring it back slightly. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just getting underneath the joint here. And take it back. Don't raise it up, just drop it down a bit there. Right there. Mm. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Now, I think probably the easiest way to explain this is let's bring the uh, Earl of Bergamot over here. <laughs> and you'll see that in the corner here we've got the clavicle, and we could have shear stress this way, but I'm actually just going underneath in the joint here and trying to open it up a little bit. It'd be kind of useless if I went posterior because obviously I'm not going to get into the joint here. But we've got the superior inferior motion, and then I can just take my thumb and kind of wrap it underneath there a little bit there. We'll try and open up that joint a little bit. Now, when we're working on the shoulder here, like I said, it's not just about the glenohumeral joint. We're getting in there, we're trying to open that area up in here, but we're trying to open up the space in here, which is the subacromial space. We're getting into the sternoclavicular area here. Then we're getting into the physiological joint of the scapula sitting on the ribs and all the 17 muscles that connect in there to open that up and get really good motion in the area. And then finally wrapping it up with the AC joint here. But it's really important if we're going to get that shoulder girdle to open up to actually work on all of these structures because you'll see some results with one but you have to realize they work as one kinetic chain. They're part of one articulation. Uh, really, really powerful work.